For an upgrade. Dubia Roaches are getting a huge upgrade. Um, it's like a 23 gallon tub. Everything sits nice and full in there. Just gotta do some mods. But, they need a little more real estate. You know, Dubias like air circulation. They like air circulation, they like to be hot. So, um, I'm gonna go with this 70 millimeter hole saw. And we're gonna go with some holes. Sounds like my battery's dying. No, it's not. Four holes. Now I got some good circulation. Now it's time to uh, make some screens. Hot glue them. I pretty much take the holes, the plastic that I cut, and I cut a little bit bigger, just so I have something for it to uh, the glue to grab. Pretty simple. Do your hot glue. Place it down, line it up, and then I use the, the tip just to push it in. And that's it. So glue. Line it up, drop it on, get it decent, use that, push it down, hot glue, line it up, tap it down, hot glue, Line it up, tap it down. I just touched it and that sucked. All right, so now those are all set for a quick. Then what I do is I do like a insurance one. So I'll literally put a lot Is I don't want nothing escaping. I like to put the glue on and um, make sure that you know it's it's working with gravity to flatten it out. So this will be. Uh, you give it a few minutes and um, it'll flatten out be all nice the screen that I'm using is uh, the screen it's a replacement screen from Home Depot it's the screen for if you have dogs or cats it's strong stuff uh, if you're doing dubias and you have the little bleep beetles inside it you don't need to worry they won't uh, they won't escape. I mean, regardless, it's the height. It's, they can't make it anyway, but 
even if they do, the beetles can't escape them. When they're mealworms, they can. But they're not going to get on the roof of it. But you want to do this because you want to do... You want humidity. You know, humidity is a key. Um, this should be hot. It should be humid. And obviously a lot of... I always keep orange in there. Half of orange, depending on how big your, thing, your, your colony is, but... Uh, I've had a colony now for probably about three months, and uh, you know, I'll show you in a little bit how big it got. Minutes, and if you look, it all flattened out. Everything flattened out. Those are solid. See, you see that nice little coat? It all flattens out, all nice. And just, I mean, it ain't. That's what you want. Nobody in, nobody out. <clears throat> this bin is overdue to be cleaned. Um, I got all types of stuff in there. Oranges. So the oranges are good. I'm going to keep, I'm going to, the oranges in here. Move that stuff over. But as you can see, now you see all these containers? This is what I use for feeding my. Uh... Are you alive? Are you alive? <laughs> nope. Um, this is what I use to feed my uh, crested geckos. So what happens is, I, um, I transfer them over. I, uh, the geckos always leave something. So when I transfer it, what I do is I kind of flip it so whatever dust is on it will, uh, fall off. And I go over, and then I smack it. I'm excited about this big bin because it has height, so I won't have to be so paranoid about doing it inside my house. Um, I typically do this outside. So the dubias don't smell. What ends up smelling is your cardboard. So the idea is, is to clean them out. Flip it over, go over here, tap, flip it over, same thing, tap, and in the garbage. So now I'm, I'm going to do a quick clean. I'm not going to sort yet. I'll sort another day. So as we get to the end, these things will be better because when I pick them up, a bunch of them run. Like so. What do you think? The key thing is, is good food. and fresh food. Look at that. So, if you know about, if you don't know, these ones with the, with the wings are males. The ones that are not shiny, like these ones, those are, um, 
those are nymphs. They're not they're not anything yet. They're not male or female. And these shiny ones with itty bitty wings are females. So you'll get about I believe 30 babies per female a month. And it takes a few it takes a couple months for them to grow out. Um, I just typically since I'm feeding crested geckos, I have one toke, I have one Pac-Man. I typically don't feed big ones, so what I do is I pull out the little ones and then uh, I feed the little ones and then when I clean the tub, I start fresh. And all the little ones that didn't end up in a gecko setup end up, uh, go you little punk. Um, they, they make it back into the colony and uh, possibly turn into breeders one day. You can see, I mean, it doesn't, it, there is a scent, but that's just because this hasn't been cleaned in a month. Um, you want to clean them at least once a month and you'll have no smell. Hear it? That's what you want. You want all that crap to fall out. I like the height of this because in the winter time, where I can't do this outside, now I can do this here and not worry about fucking roaches escaping. Beauty of it is, I live in New York. Um, I live in New York, man. New York gets cold. So, these things like to be, uh, they breed at 90 plus degrees, and that's the key thing. Um, they can't, they're not, they're not going to last long in the winter. So, it won't be invasive to New York. And your house... Unless you keep your house at 90 degrees, they're not going to breed in your house. And, uh, you know, these things eat a lot. You know, I mean, I would, they're going to die. They're not, they're not going to survive. Alright, so there's that part. This all clean. These cups all can go in there. All the uh, gecko food is gone. This, I mean, the only thing that will smell is if you get mold from moisture. Mold for moisture and uh, rotten fruit. Other than that, it doesn't smell. It's awesome. That's what's the coolest thing about these things. They they really don't smell much. They um, multiply. They don't go eat, 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 eat all night long. You know, there's just so many variables why uh, they're so awesome. I don't know how much that is, but it's a lot. I put a couple in here just so that they can help me catch. Catch some dubious. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a side. And I'm just going to lightly... Oh, that way. I'm going to just lightly place them in. So that, um, they got something. Now 
tell you, within a little, it'll take no time, and you won't, you'll, you'll barely see any on the bottom. But pretty much just lay them in loose. Gotta clean the water bowl. See, it's already moving because they're working their way up. That's it. See? You just watched me put that in. And they're ready all over. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to, as you look, you don't see much anymore. Because they're all inside there. That's where they're all at. So, <clears throat> put it loose, push it up there, I rinse my water bowl, I got a bottle, I put a hand, like, put a bunch of the Miracle Grow water crystals for the plants. Yep, I do not buy Dubia crystals. Fill that up, all nicey nice. I got better hopes for this bin, because this bin has these trenches and um that should help with um a lot of things including fluid all right i didn't do a dish yet but it's all right so this is what i'm talking about dubia diet premium 32 ounces i've had this bag for a while i barely touched it um it's compact in the bag so i just literally Oh, my camera stand broke in the middle of the other video. Put a bunch in, and that's it. Well, that's it. Keep some oranges. I got 12 inch heat tape that's going to go, that goes almost the whole distance of this whole tub. And uh, as I said, it's been successful. So, uh, that's how I do my bin. I want to talk to you about a boy named Eli. So Eli watches my videos. He's a young entrepreneur. I think he's in junior high school. He, um, he has a business to help with his business. So he makes stickers that he sells for, sells, so he can put money into his hobby, which is pretty awesome for, uh, for a little guy, you know? So, um... He mailed me this letter, lots of thank yous, and this is a tough businessman, I tell you, because between negotiations for me to advertise for him, I got one sticker, yep, so Eli's Reptile Supplies, he currently sells stickers, cool little sticker, but the thing is, is this little guy is doing this so that he can be in the hobby right there with all the adults and um that it's a nice sticker cool little sticker so uh roman this letter hi david here is the sticker sample we spoke about please share with your fans i'm selling these for one dollar each and i'll have magnets soon as well as leopard gecko stickers and magnets as well Stickers are $1 and magnets are $2 each. Products are limited. Please email any requests or refer your fans to me. They may email requests as well. Here is my email. Alexander E0728 at gmail.com. Thank you, Eli. This guy is a businessman. We emailed back and forth. 15 emails for that sticker and for me to talk about it. So, uh, listen, everybody out there, you want some stickers for the kids, you want to do a good thing, buy a sticker or a magnet from Eli, help him grow his hobby, and help your kids have stickers. Thanks for watching. DMJ Reptiles on Instagram and Facebook and dmjreptiles.com, et cetera, et cetera.